Hello everyone, my name is Andani, and today we'll be talking about how to make a tutorial video and why it's important. The reason a tutorial video is important is so that you can remember or go back to uh, how to do a certain thing, like fixing a car. Without tutorial videos, we, uh, we would not be able to solve problems. Great tutorials come with great plans, and planning is an important part because without planning, you will have no idea on what to do or on how to do it. This sandwich looks very scrumptious. Yes, it does. You think we should make a how-to video on how to make a good grilled cheese? Yes. Planning on what you're going to do, you have to research your audience so that you can help them as much as possible as you can. This is an example of us doing research for a grilled cheese. Step three is script writing. Once you have finished, you might think that it's that that's all, but you also have to write a script so that you know what to say and to improve your video quality. This is an example of our script and how we made ours better. After you get your script and plan together, you're going to want to choose what microphone you're going to need. To use the proper microphone, you're going to have to decide on what and how you're going to record your video. After deciding the microphone you want to use, uh, if you want to do a voiceover, do it like this. This is a voiceover. After deciding the microphone you're going to want to use, make sure you do a microphone test and see if the audio works beforehand as to not waste any time later and figuring out you had nothing, no audio. The microphone that we're showing right now is a lavalier. And this microphone is called a boom mic. A shotgun microphone is used is called that because it resembles a barrel of a shotgun. It collects sound from a narrow area and far distance, as you can see Alex being further away. It's super, super corduroy, great, and it's great in noisy settings. It's great, great use in acting and films isolates all background noises, and it's mostly a condenser type, meaning only whatever the microphone is pointed at will catch the voice. Next, you're going to want to sort the clip in sequential order from start to finish. Then you're going to want to add effects so that, or text to inform people on how to use them. After finishing recording, to get your camera and take your SD out. And then you're going to want to insert it into the SD reader so that you could pull out your clips. After finding your clips on the other monitor, you're going to want to open up Adobe. After opening up Adobe, you're going to want to click New Project. And you're going to want to name your, un un uh, your new project whatever you want so that you can remember and go back to it. After making your new folder, you're gonna to wanna to drag in your clips by and then put them in the new folder. After getting your videos into your folder, you're gonna to wanna to highlight all the videos in your folder and, cr and press open to import them to Adobe. If done correctly, you should now be able to just drag it over here and make sure that nothing like this, it cut out all the beginning. To get rid of any mistakes, you're going to want to go go to the left side, play it, and make a mark. Uh, there's a button called mark in, and you're gonna wanna press it so that it cuts out anything in the beginning that you don't want, or anything that you don't want later. If you want to add text to to part of your video, you can go down here on the uh, near the right right here. Click on the T and go up to the video and just highlight like this. And now you could add text. You could add text like this. If you don't like where the text is, you could also put, go down here and click on the arrow and drag this wherever you want to on the screen. To change the font or the color, you go to graphics and you click on here. You go down here, you can choose the color and modify it to whatever you want. If you want it darker, you can put it up. See how the color changes. Lighter, darker. 
You can change the side the size by right here. If I scroll to the right, it should increase. Huh, I guess it did. To change the color, you're gonna to wanna to double click so that it's highlighted. Go down to the colors that's down there and then move wherever you want it to so that it changes color. If you want to change the font or, si or size of the text, you're also going to want to highlight it again if it unhighlighted and change the text right here. Like this. Or like this. And the size is right here. Increase it and make it go big like that. If you want to remove something like a transition or a text, you could always highlight it. Click, right click it and then go to clear to remove it. Now it's not there. Once you're done with your video and you want to add credits, you go to graphics, go to browse, and right here you could find a whole lot, not just for credits, but for other things as well. You could just drag them from there, add them right here, and after that, if you play it, credits roll up. If you want to change the text, you just double click and then change the text to whatever you want. And this was how to make a tutorial video. Thanks for joining us and I hope it was very helpful.